so a couple of things though this video is basically to how to create a contact there's a couple of different ways um, this is the contact page here um, and um, uh, I have to make this visit video uh, two times over because I keep saying contact instead of, instead of event but this is how to create an event a um, couple of ways uh, you can click activities and then you can click on a uh, new event here and you just fill out the event here um, the other way is to uh, click right here and then there's a link here for new event you click on that it bring you back to the same spot you could create the event here uh, the way that we want to stress that it's done is uh, by creating the contact first so let's say you have a contact we have somebody with it we have their name we have their address we have all their information uh, you would go to their contact page and create the event there that way it's linked back to them and not just uh, floating uh, in on the CRM in space so we're gonna go ahead and go to a contact uh, this contact is called test tester which we have created um, and uh, test tester uh, has an appointment for the sixth so we're gonna scroll down and uh, put that appointment in for test tester so let's go ahead new event alright so just uh, little reminder an event and a an appointment is basically the same thing um, for our purposes so if someone says create an appointment or do an appointment is the same as creating an event so we're gonna go ahead and put this event in alright so we're gonna put in NO for North Jersey and we're gonna put the text name is we're gonna put uh, uh, what's his name Tim alright and uh, city of the uh, of the town that the uh, job is in, so we're going to put Clifton, New Jersey, colon, customer's last name, B O L E R, and then we're going to put the uh, appointment date, which is the 6th of January, so 1614, and uh, that's what we put in this up in the heading. Uh, we also want to put in the date and time, so we want to put the same date here. So go to January, put January 6th, all right, and let's say his appointment is for uh, 5 p.m. So we use, uh, this defaults to a half an hour, so it defaults to 5.30. We want to change that to uh, 7 because we do uh, two-hour appointments. So uh, it would be 5 to 7. So scroll up here a little bit. Uh, come on. All right. All right, so that's the end of the appointment uh, time in that we put in. And then we want to assign this to the text. So we want to put the text name in here. Let's say it's going to Robin. Uh, we put his name there. And basically when Robin Daly logs in, he'll be able to see this appointment that you put in also. You can see it. He can see it. Everybody's happy. All right. The only other thing that I'd like to stress at this point, uh, basic information here, all this other stuff is important. We can do that later. Um, one more thing, if you go to more fields, you can basically put a uh, a message in here for the tech or for whoever, for yourself, whoever the appointment, the uh, event is set up for, the appointment is set up for, um, you can put a uh, a note in there, a reminder or whatever, right? So in this case, we're going to say customer needs to leave by uh, 7... PM. He has a flight to catch. All right, and then we can just go ahead and click done, and uh, press save, and that will save the appointment. Uh, again, the appointment and the event is the same thing. All right, so uh, we see here this is the appointment we put in uh, for Tim in Clifton, New Jersey. It's Bowler. And it's going to Robin Daly. Here's another appointment here that's also on for Robin Daly the same day. And uh, um, all of these will remain open until the day and time of the uh, event. Once it <clears throat> once that time is passed, uh, that event automatically drops down here under closed events. So um, closed events is basically all the appointments that are passed 
and it'll drop down here. It'll keep it's, it'll save it right on here uh, for you to look at whenever you like, but it won't be under open. All right, and that's uh, basically how you create an event. Um, like I said, this is uh, one of the best ways that we think uh, it should be done.